अगर आप एक बी स्कूल में जाने का फैसला सिर्फ इस बेसिस पे करते हैं कि वहां पे कितनी सैलरी है तो ये वीडियो आपके लिए है बिकॉज इस वीडियो में मैं कुछ रियालिटी ऑफ आई एम प्लेसमेंट बताने वाला हूँ रियालिटी ऑफ प्लेसमेंट एंड सैलरीज एंड प्रोसेस द प्लेसमेंट प्रोसेस बताने जा रहा हूं ताकि आप समझ पाए दैट प्रॉबेबली अगर आप सिर्फ एक बी स्कूल को एज ए प्लेसमेंट एजेंसी की तौर पे देख रहे हैं तो शायद वो चॉइस गलत हो सकती है शायद आप उससे बहुत ही गलत चॉइस कर लेंगे एंड प्रॉबेबली बी स्कूल्स आर नॉट इवन द बेस्ट प्लेसमेंट एजेंसीज यू कैन डू मच मोर देन दैट यू कैन प्रॉबली अर्न मच मोर देन वॉट यू वुड फाइंड फ्रॉम योर प्लेसमेंट इन दिस वीडियो आई एल ऑल्सो बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट हाउ प्रॉबेबली द प्लेस कॉम हु यू थिंक इज योर गुड फ्रेंड कैन टर्न आउट टू बी योर वर्स्ट enemy and that is why probably these placement agencies which are run by students your friends are probably a bad idea because you don't know what kind of politics and jealousy and groupism may happen in it it's not a fair process i am darpan saxena an mba graduate from iim udaipur and i help mba students create fulfilling careers without depending on placements do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that i can bring to you more such thought provoking conversations mai abhi hal filhal mein ek bahut hi interesting आर्टिकल पढ़ रहा था एक वेबसाइट है द कैन उस वेबसाइट पे एक इंटेप आर्टिकल है अबाउट द रियलिटी ऑफ प्लेसमेंट्स एंड वो आर्टिकल का लिंक मैं नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूंगा आपको जरूर पढ़ना चाहिए एंड उस आर्टिकल से ही मैंने ये एहसास करा कि जो काफी चीजें मैं सोचता था अबाउट आई एम प्लेसमेंट वो कितनी सही है बिकॉज उसमें वही सारी प्रॉब्लम सामने आई जो मैं पिछले कई सालों से अपने स्टूडेंट्स को आई हैव बीन ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इसीलिए मैंने पांच मेजर इशूज है जो मैं आज आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू अगर आप ये पांच इशूज समझ गए आई कैन गारंटी यू आपको ये रियालिटी ऑफ आई एम प्लेसमेंट एंड हाउ मच इज दी सैलरी at this this I am and this and that आपको इससे ज्यादा फर्क नहीं महसूस होगा यू बिकॉज यू वुड गेट दिस कॉन्फिडेंस दैट ओके आई कैन डू सो मच मोर My objective in this video is to give you that confidence that please do not look at an IIM or a B school as a placement agency. Probably they are not even good placement agencies. I'll you know I'll say this to you that why am I saying that an IIM or a B school is not a good placement agency? It might sound very this thing ki arey but itti to wahan se matlab salaries milti hain, itte acche acche to organizations aate hain. How can you say that the placement agency is not good? Listen that I'll explain that. But by the end of this, especially when I'll go to the fifth point wherein I'll be sharing with you that probably you as an mba aspirant as an mba student you are also a very big part of the problem and i will tell you that okay if i'm suggesting to you that okay placements are not so good and placements are not something which you should hinge upon directly then what exactly are the things which you should do now moving on i'll quickly explain that what is happening and you know this you know every now and then you would read it on a linkedin or you'd see a video on youtube saying that you know placements are not happening really well even at the top b schools like i am amdabad bangalore and calcutta and koikkode and where not placements are being affected this and that and you would see this and you would think that yeah is it worth doing an mba in this year is it worth it to go for an mba now and in this point itself i'll explain to you three things which will give you an idea why as a placement agency perspective ek i am ya fir ek b school ek achhi placement agency bhi nahi hai i'll tell you why see this is cheez hai it's too much affected by market सिचुएशन मार्केट की स्थिति इकोनॉमिक स्थिति से बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्ट हो जाता है एक आईएम का आउटकम लेट मी नॉट यूज द वर्ड प्लेसमेंट लेट मी यूज द वर्ड आउटकम बिकॉज आइडियली जब आप एक टॉप आई या एक टॉप बी स्कूल से ग्रेजुएट हो रहे हैं योर स्किल सेट योर क्रेडेंशियल शुड बी सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट इट शुड नॉट बी सो इफेक्टेड बाय इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन द फैक्ट इज बिकॉज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ बी स्कूल इज गेटिंग इवेल्युएटेड बाय हाउ मच वुड देर स्टूडेंट अर्न एंड वॉट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द प्लेसमेंट बिकॉज दैट इज द ओनली वे यू एज एन एस्पिरेंट इवेल्युएट अ स्कूल द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यू वुड सी दैट इवन द टॉप वन आर गेट getting affected even at schools like i am koi code and some others you would see and i'll share with you the links of the news articles aapko ye malum hoga ki shayad wahan pe bhi agar sthiti kharab hoti hai say something like a covid will happen or something like that even there the joining will get delayed companies will revoke their offers and all those kind of things will happen chaliye ho sakta hai you might say to me ki but covid to was like very extra circumstances wo to that is a very special circumstance and hence we should not be so harsh on them it's so Okay, I do understand that, but even right now, you would see that a lot of placements. 
get impacted, lot of offers they get revoked even at the top schools. So there is a problem. There is a problem that even after paying so much in fee, and when you know when these B schools know that okay, our entire quality is being assessed on the salaries, there is a problem. If you will see that students st still can't be sure whether they will find the kind of job roles which they are interested to have. Moving on from there, the second thing. The second thing is this that batch sizes will only increase. Batch sizes have increased like crazy. Ye kam nahi hoga. Ek B school or B programs launch karta hai and usually sabki placements ek saath hoti hai. Agar placements ek saath bhi na ho, you need to understand that wo opportunity aap ki hi khayenge because companies utni hi aayengi. Market mein jobs utni hi hai. Suddenly agar ek IM ne ek naya program start kar diya hai, does not mean that out there in the industry now somebody will say ki achha, we need more people from this program. No. Jobs utte hi hai, requirements utte hi hai. Jobs will increase at the speed at which they will increase. That is not going to get affected by IM Ahmedabad or Bangalore or Calcutta or ISB or somebody. No. So when the batch size increase, you might think that okay, batch size is increasing, but you know this and that that the placements have you know are happening separately. The problem is your competition is increasing, and when the first two things they get coupled, that there's a poor economic situation along with largest ever sizes of the batch. What you see are very serious consequences that the quality of the placements, the you know the placement which you wanted to have, you may not even have that because of these two problems. The third thing from there is obviously ROI gets affected. Now here is something you know. Usually students they ask me that, sir, the fees of these B schools is so high. Like fees of these schools have now reached 20, 25 lakh for the two years. Is it worth it to do an MBA this and that? Now here's the thing. For the tier one and also the tier two ka first half schools, I should say the top 15 schools fee chahe jo bhi ho is not so important. The reason why I am saying this that because if you are at the top 10, 15 B schools, jo bhi fees hogi ap wo do saal, teen saal. में रिकवर कर लेंगे मैक्सिमम एंड आपको वो फीस पे करने के लिए यू कैन गेट अ लोन आल्सो दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली फाइन इन इंडिया दिस प्रोसेस इज वेरी स्ट्रीमलाइन वेरी सिंपल एंड पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड दे डू एमबीए आई एनकरेज स्टूडेंट्स टू डू एमबीए इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द फीस द फीस एंड द आरओआई बिकम्स अ प्रॉब्लम द मोमेंट यू गो डाउन टू अ टियर 2 सेकंड हाफ एंड योर टियर 3 4 5 6 ऑनवर्ड्स वहां पे बिकॉज़ अगेन फीस विल इंक्रीज फॉर ऑल बी स्कूल्स बैच साइजेस विल इंक्रीज फॉर all B schools and obviously the more this happens your tier 3, tier 4, tier 5 schools will, will become even less attractive. That's that. That is what you need to understand. Moving on from there. The second thing is, you know, I have a problem with placement reports. You know, recently on my YouTube channel, I started to do a series wherein I would go deep inside the placement reports of all of these schools and I would help you understand them. And I have a very big problem for most B schools, even some of them at the top, they take their placements and they take their brand value for granted. And because of that, their placement reports you would see are no longer placement reports. They're more like marketing brochures. I'll tell you why there are two problems in that the first thing is their placement reports are not audited and this is very important when you as a b school know jab ek b school janta hai ki one of the reasons or one of the two reasons why a student will come to them is one which is the brand name and two the placements the salaries it is a very big responsibility of the b school to get their placement report audited one beautiful example of a very responsible b school is i am ahmedabad it is probably it is arguably the best B school in India. Yet, look at its placement report. It's beautiful. The kind of details which they give, the placement reports are audited. That's that. The moment you compare it with certain other top B schools of India of the similar league, you look at their placement report and it's almost as if somebody has just created a PPT. That's that. Nobody cares whether these salary figures are even true or not. I am not saying that they are not true. Yes, in most cases, ये होता है. अगर आपकी placement report नहीं हुई है audit, then B schools do inflate the salaries. It happens obviously. The moment it gets audited, it becomes very safe to actually believe it. And obviously, the second problem with it is that, as I've already explained, they are not even detailed. Again, you go back to my YouTube channel and look at some videos in which I have deeply analyzed the I am Ahmedabad's placement report. I have done a very deep analysis and I could do such a deep analysis because their placement report is beautiful. It is a detailed 
रिपोर्ट जो ये रियलिटी ऑफ आई एम प्लेसमेंट एंड द रियलिटी ऑफ एम बी ए प्लेसमेंट है वो आपको इतने डिटेल्ड ऑडिटेड प्लेसमेंट रिपोर्ट से ही मिल सकती है देर फोर आइडियली बी स्कूल नॉट डूइंग अ गुड डिटेल्ड ऑडिटेड प्लेसमेंट रिपोर्ट इट्स अम दैट इज वाई आई वुड गो टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ सिंग दट ही देर प्रोबेबली नॉट गुड एज प्लेसमेंट एजेंसी बिकॉज अ प्लेसमेंट एजेंसी और एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर प्लेसमेंट दे वु टेक द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की नहीं यार अपनी प्लेसमेंट रिपोर्ट तो ऑडिटेड होनी ही होनी है माई बी स्कूल आई एम उदयपुर गेट्स इट्स रिपोर्ट ऑडिटेड एंड इट्स ब्यूटिफुल हाउ मच इन साइट दे शेयर इन दैट यू नीड दैट स्टूडेंट्स नीड दैट दैट्स दैट फ्रॉम देर आई हैव सो मच टू स्पीक अबाउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ प्लेसमेंट देर इज सो मच वी कैन स्पीक अबाउट इट बट आई पुट इट इन टू थ्री सिंपल थिंग्स नाउ हेर इज द थिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट प्लेसमेंट इज नाउ लाइक अ टिक इन द बॉक्स एंड इट एस्पेशली हैपन्स फ्रॉम टीयर टू स्कूल ऑनवर्ड्स आप टॉप के 10 बी स्कूल छोड़ दीजिए ग्यारहवें बी स्कूल से ये प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट हो जाए दैट देर ऑब्जेक्टिव और द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अ बी स्कूल नाउ इज दैट ओके हाउ क्विकली कैन वी गो आउट एंड से दैट वी हैव अचीव हंड्रेड परसेंट प्लेसमेंट वॉट गेट्स अफेक्टेड इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द प्लेसमेंट देर आर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर हुम समर इंटर्नशिप दे गेट पेड टेन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड फॉर विच यू नो यू कैन इमेजिन दैट दे हैव टू गो आउट देर इन अ डिफरेंट सिटी दे हैव टू स्टे देर ईट फूड लिव देर एंड ऑब्वियसली दैट इज नॉट समथिंग विच दे came in for probably the salaries which they were earning before MBA were much higher and they have exact experience of those industries as well yet it happens so you know that 100% placements the moment the quality of the placements as you know at these B schools they start to dip you know that there is a problem this is the reality of the IM placements of MBA placements the second problem is is obviously summer placements directly impact the placement outcomes for that there is a simple logic for this which you need to understand and the logic is if the b school is not able to attract good companies for summer placements jo students jayenge wahan pe they would not be happy about it now either of these two things will happen or both may happen either those companies are not good enough to offer you ppos or because those companies are not so good and the students are not interested in that even if they will give an offer the students will say, say no we are not interested which means that more students will then be available for the final placements the final placements ke upar jo burden hota hai wo increase ho jata in a healthy environment where the summer placements are good where the placement agencies where these b schools are able to are able to bring in good companies for the summer placements more students will accept their offers and lesser students few Your students will be available for final placements. That is how it happens at the good schools. But do not be under the impression, and I am saying this to you as an MBA aspirant. Usually, seniors will say to you that you know what, summer is a little bit weak, but the finals will affect you. No, a good placement agency. The sign of a good B school is that that their summer placements will be strong. Therefore, if you as an MBA aspirant need to evaluate a school on their placements, do check their summer placements as well. Moving on from there, the third thing which is extremely important which is my dream job what happens to your dream the quality of placements are bad the reason why i am saying that probably the reality of these mba placements the reality of the im placements is that that they are probably the worst placement agencies is because you went into your mba program with your dream job that okay i want to be in the field of finance is that b school able to get जॉब रोल्स ऑफ फाइनेंस के आपके बी स्कूल में कोर फाइनेंस के जॉब रोल्स आते भी हैं द आंसर इज नो इफ यू आर नॉट इन द टॉप टेन फिफ्टीन बी स्कूल हो सकता है आपके बी स्कूल में टॉप कोर फाइनेंस के रोल्स आते ही नहीं है फाइनेंस के नाम पे शायद वो फाइनेंशियल सेल्स आते हैं इंश्योरेंस सेल्स आता है फॉर गेट फाइनेंस इट कुड बी समथिंग एल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यूर समी स्पायर टू गेट इन टू कंसल्टिंग डज योर बी स्कूल गेट गुड कंसल्टिंग जॉब रोल्स आर नॉट देर फोर अगेन द प्रॉब्लम इज ऑल्सो विद यू आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट इन द फिफ्थ पॉइंट बट इफ यूर बी school is not able to consistently get those companies which it used to have there is a problem is there a surety that those companies will come we don't know for most b schools we don't know for very few the very top few we know it but even there we don't know whether i will get shortlisted for that role or not a chartered accountant at i am amdabad can never be sure whether he or she will get a finance role whether he or she will get shortlisted for a finance role and i am amdabad chartered accountant cannot predict this is the reality either 
either he or she will have to then go in for something else. But that is the problem. So even at the top, B schools, if you imagine that, okay, I will walk into an IIM Ahmedabad with my dream job in my head. You may not get it. You may not get a shortlist. वो बात अलग है कि placement process अब मैं उसपे आता हूँ कि placement process में भी बहुत problems हैं. That how probably the place com instead of being your friend can become your worst enemy out there. And that is why it's the worst placement agency. This is actually the worst placement agency which you can you know which you can be in. About the placement process, I have two very simple things. One is one person, one placement. This is a problem. The moment you know because the B schools want to have hundred percent placements, the policy is very simple. The moment you get placed in one company, you are out of the placement process. And the second problem is you have to apply to all companies. Mandatory participate करना है तो जो पहली company आ रही है आपको शुरू से आप ज़्यादा companies नहीं छोड़ सकते. Again, go below the top fifteen schools, top ten to fifteen schools. This is the problem, the biggest problem. That one you cannot skip companies, especially when the economic situation is not good. No, you can't skip companies. And the moment you get placed in a company which you didn't even want to be in, you are signed out. Again, what happens to your dream job? What happens to your dream? That's a problem. Only a few schools is there, you know, wherein they also have this option for you to announce that okay, what is my dream job to be in? For example, at I'm M the bad. This is the thing that at the starting of the placement process, announce that okay, what is my dream job? And even if you get placed at some other organization, and if that organization will come, you will still be allowed to sit for those placements. So you need to inform them already that okay, which organization is my dream organization? So some B schools have this thing in them, but most don't. Most don't. And obviously, one more thing about the placement process, which is not there on the slides, which is probably something I must address. At all B schools, placements is handled by your batchmates. The placecom is your batchmates, and this is a fact. How favoritism and politics, and how they help their friends. and and their girlfriends and their boyfriends. It's all a fact. Placecom, placecom में ही फाइट हो जाती है यार तुम और छोड़ दो बात प्लेसकॉम में जो सात आठ आठ दस मिनट लोग होते हैं उनमें ही फाइट हो जाती है वो ही एक दूसरे की शॉर्ट लिस्ट काट देते हैं कभी कभी ऐसा भी होता है इफ देर इज वन हुज ए रिक्रूटमेंट सेक्रेटरी हुज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट दैट पर्सन कैन अफेक्ट द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द अदर्स यार तो बाहर के तो छोड़ ही दो तुम सो यू नो दैट बिकॉज वंस यूर देर इन द प्लेसकॉम यूर हेड गेट्स वेरी हाई हाई इन दी एयर दैट ओके वी आर एलिट्स द मोमेंट यू नो द मोमेंट ऑल ऑफ दोस्ट थिंग्स है When people start to behave in a different way, those behaviors change, and therefore, place calm instead of being your friend could become your worst enemy. Or what will you do? That is that. And moving on. Now I'll just quickly move on to the things which you could do, which you need to do. Are these? I'd simply say, my dear friends, you are the problem. If that is how you're evaluating schools, then you are the problem. I'll tell you why. First thing is that you are entirely dependent on your college placements. It's almost like you see it as a fence. कि मेरे B school के इर्द गिर्द एक fence है और B school से बाहर जाने का रास्ता सिर्फ प्लेसमेंट ही है ऑन कैंपस प्लेसमेंट और मेरे पास जैसे कोई ऑप्शन ही नहीं है आपके पास बहुत ऑप्शन है अगर आप एक अच्छे टीयर वन टीयर टू स्कूल में भी हैं ट्राई फॉर ऑफ कैंपस प्लेसमेंट मिल जाती हैं इफ यू स्टार्ट इन एडवांस यू विल फाइंड इट अगेन ऑब्वियसली इफ यूर स्ट्रेटेजी टू फाइंडिंग ऑफ कैंपस प्लेसमेंट आर ओके आई एल सेंड माई सी वी टू हंड्रेड प्लेसेज आई फाइंड यू नेवर फाइंड इट नो तो बिफोर यू अब यूज दैट है क्या बोल रहा है और ऑफ कैंपस कहाँ मिलती है नौकरियाँ लर्न द राइट स्ट्रेटेजीज फॉर इट विच आई टीच इन माई प्रोग्राम टू माई स्टूडेंट्स हाउ Okay, I'll give you some short snippet of that. Build connections with senior people in the industry. Industry के senior लोगों के साथ connections build कीजिए. That is extremely important. From there, what you'll understand is that once you build connections with them as a student, work with them on free projects. Take projects from them. That sir, I'm a student. I'm free. खाली बैठा हूँ. Give me something to work on. I'll help you out. They will gladly help you. They would. They would want to talk to you. All of those things happen. And then once you've worked with them, once you've spoken to them. Over half year, then you pitch for a job. They'll give you. Not even kidding. You'll then be in the inner circle of those CXOs. That is usually how do you do these things. That is usually how do you take care of these things. Moving on from there, the second thing is that you entirely depend on the brand of your B school, which means. अब ये second point जो है ये और ज़्यादा concerning point है because पहले में तो चलो समझ भी आता है कि जी हमने इस B school को 25 लाख दिए हैं यार salary का जो है इंतज़ाम वो यहीं से होगा समझ में आता है but the second problem is much more serious because then you think that okay now that I've come to my IIM I do not need to do anything else I do not need to study I do not need to improve my skill set that is the problem. अब लोगों में एक ये प्रॉब्लम आ जाती है कि अच्छा मैं अब अपने स्किल्स पे भी काम नहीं करूंगा एंड दैट इज द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम प्लीज कीप वर्किंग ऑन योर स्किल्स फॉर ऑल यू नो यू माइट इवन स्टार्ट फ्रीलांसिंग अर्न एन यूएस डॉलर्स एंड यू माइट अर्न सो मच मोर इवन व्हेन यू हैव नॉट स्टेप्ड आउट दैट इज व्हाट माय स्टोरी वाज ड्यूरिंग माय एमबीए दैट्स दैट 
and the third thing is the entrepreneurial aspirations of b school students is very low whereas the reality is a b school student is at the best place to become an entrepreneur in a very safe environment isko samajhne ka way bahut simple hai agar aapne ek bahut acha b school crack kar liya hai if you've cracked a good b school you should feel much more confident ki yaar ab maan lo agar maine kuch entrepreneurship start bhi kari main agar market mein aaj se ek saal baad bhi jaunga ya jaungi i'll find a job because i've made it the problem is exactly ulta the good b schools when you go to a good b school you become very risk averse you like in ab to main salary hi lunga yahan se that is the sad part of it probably if a few students of you can sign out of the placement and build something of your own really at the start of it you can probably become entrepreneurs and you can earn so much more think about these things i'll leave you with these few statements my objective in this video was to give you an insight as to why probably iams b schools are the worst placement agencies there are reasons for it to not be the best placement agencies the ones which you think they are do not forget to like the video subscribe to the channel because i'll be bringing out more such interesting conversations with you which will make you think and take action them thanks a lot and goodbye